I got my first panel just set up here. And this is where it's going to go on the front end on the passenger side. Mainly because that antenna, that radio antenna over there, I could put one inside that, I believe. But uh, anyway, I may end up doing that. But the first one's going to go right here. And my my thoughts are, if I tilt this or park with the uh, sun to the south, there will never be anything obstructing this panel. There's the refrigerator vent, so that's nice and close for my wires to come down in there. And then that blank spot right behind the air conditioner or the uh, refrigerator vent will be two more panels end to end and they'll hang off the back about six inches but the mounts will be in the roof of course so the way I'm doing this is I've got the brackets mounted to the panel and then temporarily put these bolts to mount the the bottom bracket to it so that's exactly where those bottom brackets are going to sit once I have them bolted down. They're not bolted down yet. But then I just took a magic marker or a permanent marker and went around each corner to mark where those bottom brackets should be. So now I just take the panel down, take the bottom bracket off, and I have them numbered because I drilled all the holes by hand and they may not be perfectly matched up. But as long as I put this bracket on here in this orientation, then the holes will be matched up perfectly. And the same thing falls true for the front. So that's number one and this is number two. Then I can uh, bolt those down, put the lap sealant on all the bolt holes and all that. Let that sit for a day and then I'll bring the panel back up and bolt it down. Put these bolts back in and bolt it right down. And it should be good to go. I can get a wrench in on this side. And then this is only about four inches. I have an extension long enough to put my ratchet on the bolt, on the uh, nut here. So I can tighten those down. And there will be uh, nylon lock nuts. So I shouldn't have any worries about that coming out. And you can't really see it, but the wires begin on this side. So they'll come out right here and go right into the, well, Y connection and then down into the refrigerator vent. So that's it, that's how I'm gonna do it, guys. I'll show you what it looks like when I get all three of them done, or two of them anyway. I just thought of one other thing that I should mention. Some of, some of my uh, thoughts on this and where to put them. Of course, this is the front of the trailer and it has a slant to it. And then as you look at the, the back where this dips down, it hangs over a little bit. But what I wanted is there's a very hard piece of structure underneath the roof right here. So this bracket should be able to screw right into that. And then up on the front, I just wanted to make sure that I had the front of the panel back far enough away from this edge. So as that wind comes up over this, it's not going to be coming up right underneath this panel and trying to lift up on it. I think most of the wind will be going over the top of it. So that should make the front a little more safe going down the road. Also, you can see the gap I have underneath the panels. It's probably just, just a little over an inch, maybe an inch and a half gap here. So there'll be plenty of air circulation underneath the panels to help keep them cool on hot days. At least as cool as they could be, they'll at least have airflow. So that's important too. And then any moisture or water can run underneath there and go wherever it needs to go.